Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. So today we will continue with example 2 of the BJT. Okay, in this example, we want to determine whether the transistor is in saturation or not. Okay, so assume VCE saturation or VCE set is 0 0.25 volt and DC beta equals to 100. Okay, so what should we do? Okay, to solve this problem, first we need to determine the uh, saturation collector current, okay, or IC saturation. So, IC saturation or IC set is equals to VCC minus VCE set over RC. Okay, so just substitute all the values that we have. So we will get 12 volt minus 0 0.25 volt over 270. So equal to 43.52 milliamps. Okay. Next, we need to check whether the base current or IB is large enough to produce the, the IC saturation or not. Okay, so we know that VRB equals to VBB minus VBE. So IB, RB equals to VBB minus VBE. Therefore, IB equals to VBB is 5 volt minus VBE is 0 0.7 volt over RB 3.3 .3 kilo ohms. Okay, so we will get IB of 1.3 milli amps. Okay, next we need to calculate the IC. So, IC, a collector current, is given by DC beta times IB. So, DC beta is 100 times IB 1.3 milliamps. So, we will get 130 milli amps. Okay, so we can see that the IC here is larger than the IC saturation, isn't it? Okay, so what does it mean? Okay, so when IC value, IC value here, is larger than the IC saturation, it means that the, the transistor is saturated. Okay, so the transistor is saturated. Okay, and we actually will never get the value of this 130 milliamps as the IC saturation is at 43.52 milliamps only. Okay, and even if we increase the base current, the collector current will remain at its saturation value. Okay, so this is how we detect or determine whether the transistor is in saturation or not. Okay, so, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching and till we meet again. Bye.